Hi there, I'm going to give you a walkthrough of the Git One Pros menu and I'm going to show you each function and uh, what settings uh, can, uh, can it support. Uh, you will see right about now. I'm gonna turn on the camera. Um, this one has a lot of uh, features uh, in the menu that can be toggled on and off I got uh, actually I got a lot of uh, questions about this menu you will gonna see this how to operate it in another video I'm gonna put a link somewhere uh, around here about uh, how to operate the menu uh, now I'm going to show you the settings uh, each settings for uh, each function and uh, the possible values for them so in the settings menu, this is a general settings menu, uh, it also has a video settings menu and a photo settings menu. This one is the general menu. The first settings is a date and time settings. It's obvious, you can set the date and time. This is the language, you can select the camera language, it got uh, a lot of languages here. Okay, uh, image rotation. Uh, if you going to use the camera on your car or in a difficult to fix position you may need to put it backwards so you can rotate the image and you can see it's already rotated okay uh, beep, beep on or off it the sound of the menu or each time you press a button I keep this disabled uh, the OSD the OSD are the indication on the screen about battery remaining time, so it's useful. I leave this on. This is the auto sleep for the screen. Uh, this will help you save a lot of battery if you activate it. I keep it on the minimum, one minute. So the camera works, it turns off the screen, it will save power even when recording. Uh, this is the manual auto power off. Uh, this is useful when you are using the camera as a car uh, DVR uh, when you turn on turn off the power supply the camera will turn itself off you can select an interval for uh, the shutting off this is also useful if you usually forget your camera on it will save your battery especially when you are out uh, this one is the car mode auto start so when you connect the USB power to it, it will start recording immediately. Uh, the frequency for the light to uh, prevent flickering of the image. Uh, the TV mode, NTSC or PAL. Uh, RF pairing is to connect uh, a new remote, wrist remote to the camera. This is to format the SD card, default settings and uh, the former version of the camera all right so this is the general menu if we get out of it this is also back key and it's the wireless key uh, when we are on video settings you can choose the resolution it supports multiple resolutions uh, this one is the loop recording you can select uh, the time for each part of the movie where it automatically splits the files uh, to record with the microphone or not uh, to have date stamp over your video this is the time lapse for video self timer mode like on uh, photography uh, white balance settings custom white balance you can set your uh, white balance custom uh, exposure value, uh, wide dynamic range, you can turn it on or off. This is uh, useful when you have uh, recordings that have a lot of skylight and also a lot of shadows. Uh, the camera will make a dynamic range and you get both of uh, uh, views. You will have the sky with clouds and also details where is uh, shadow. Uh, this is the field of view. On this camera you can select the field of view, you got uh, two options, wide view and uh, medium view, or at least na narrow angle and wide angle. 
uh, motion detection the camera will auto start recording when it detects something moving and it also have a G sensor that will trigger recording when the camera is shocked so these are the video settings if we go to photo settings and uh, select the menu again we have settings for uh, the image resolution you can select multiple resolutions we got the uh, date stamp for a photo we got time lapse and we can choose from one second to until 60 seconds uh, the exposure value color we can choose black and white sepia normal color uh, we got also here automatic white balance the settings of white balance tungsten fluorescent blue and so on and if we choose the white balance set it will use the custom white balance we can uh, modify these values this is red and uh, also for blue I usually keep it at uh, red 2 blue 2 it's uh, very close to natural colors so these are the settings uh, and all the functions that are currently implemented in uh, the uh, git1 pro so if you have any questions about uh, this uh, uh, menu or uh, its functions uh, please uh, let me a message bye bye